what is my personal opinion on really having armed people at church to help protect the flock. guys so I'm on the way to the church and this actually gives me a great opportunity to try to address Dustin's question from yesterday uh, and if you didn't catch what his question was well here it is hey Josh hey Jared got a question for the vlog pastors today I live in South Carolina and a topic that has come up especially in the last few years is church shootings across the United States especially the one that's made the headlines a lot and that's the one here in Charleston my question to you is what is your opinion on having a safety team, a security team, members of the congregation with concealed weapons permits, or in some states, maybe an open carry at the church to help protect the flock in the congregation? Just curious on what your take is. Thanks. So first off, I just want to make sure that I make this known, that I think that these acts of violence that are continuing to be perpetrated are nothing more than pure, unadulterated evil straight from the pits of hell. And I truly think there need to be some serious conversations happening about what we can do. And quite frankly, I don't care which side of the political aisle you wind up falling on, both sides are completely wrong on this one and they don't know what they're talking about. What I mean by that is the guns aren't the problem and the media isn't causing it. But we have really got to get to the heart of this matter. Now that's for another rant video. It's for another time and place. I want to answer Dustin's question about what is my personal opinion on really having armed people at church to help protect the flock. Okay, so how do I really feel about guns? How is it that I feel personally with regards to, I guess, having armed personnel here at the church or really at any church? Let me, let me do this two ways. In the church as a general, any individual church, figure out what works for you. If you feel that's necessary, go ahead and do it. If you don't feel that it's necessary or that it's unwanted, don't do it. It's really just as simple as that. We can't paint anything with a big broad brush. There are individual churches and individual communities that have to deal with things in different ways. Now, how do I personally feel about it with regards to our church? I kind of like the approach that King David is. It's that shepherd mentality. And I look at a pastor as a shepherd. David was able to slay Goliath with sling and stones because he had practiced taking care of a flock of sheep and he had been able to chase off any predators that were out there that tried to attack his flock. With that being said, here at our church, I really wouldn't want to be somebody that tries to come in and cause any violence because there are several people in our congregation that are caring on a regular basis. And I've had people come up to me here in the church just to let me know that they are caring and my typical response is, thank you for helping to ensure the safety of this congregation. But again, this isn't something that I would recommend every single church out there do unless you are comfortable with it. And if you are, as far as guns are concerned in my book, the more the merrier. And see, for me, security is more than just guns. To me, there's a larger issue at play here, and I think that churches really should be mindful of that. We make sure that we lock the doors to any of our children's rooms as soon as services started. We make sure that we've got the outside door locked if somebody is down here working by themselves. And we're actually in the process of upgrading the security and getting cameras installed all around the property as well. Now, I'm enjoying this vlog pastor series where we get to ask these questions, answer them, and it's Jared and I asking the same one. And if you're new to the channel, Jared's another pastor down in Texas. And if you've been paying attention to the news at all, Texas was just rocked recently with another shooting. So Jared's probably got some insights and it's probably a little bit more fresh for him. So I'm actually getting ready to head over and listen to that one right now. I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. So go ahead and check out this link right here and it'll take you right over to Jared's channel. 
All right, so that's all we got for you guys. I just wanna thank you so much for joining. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so by clicking right down below. And don't forget to hit the bell. That way YouTube notifies you every time we upload a new video, which currently is every day at 8 a.m. Now until tomorrow, I just want you all to stay blessed, enjoy God's best, and have a great day. <laughs> Leave it to you, Dustin, to come up with a question that is so timely so sensitive and so divisive. I just hope regardless of what our answers are and regardless of who's watching this, that we can still remember that we're still brothers and sisters in Christ. And even though we may disagree on certain things, we should be united on the principal things that he is Lord and Savior.